All right, I'm Susan Garside, this is Charlie. We're at Houghton College in New York, and this is an educational tip for you from the Certified Horsemanship Association. Today I will be doing a lesson on the length of the, of the digestive tract. There are many ways and extra details that you can add to personalize this lesson to different types of students. We're going to be, use it today to help represent 100 feet of the digestive tract. We will also have our lovely certified instructors assisting Charlie and I today. All right, let's start at the beginning. So the digestive tract starts in Charlie's mouth with his 40 teeth that chew the food. Um, mares would, all, would have four less at 36. So Charlie's gonna chew up the food with his 40 teeth, swallow it down the four to five feet of esophagus. When it gets to the bottom of the esophagus, uh, it reaches the cardiac sphincter. The cardiac sphincter is the point of no return. So once it passes through there, um, it cannot come back up. It must pass through the rest of the 95 feet of digestive tract. So this is why horses cannot throw up. So it'll pass this through the cardiac sphincter into the stomach. Our stomach is represented by our gallon milk jugs because horses hold two to four gallons of feed in their stomach. As we pass through the stomach, we head into our small intestines. This is the largest part of our, di our digestive tract. It is 70 feet long. So this gives our students a great opportunity to see how far 70 feet is as our small intestine absorbs the nutrients in the digestive tract. We head off and we end up into our cecum. Our cecum is about four feet long and this is where water and electrolytes will be stored. After we leave our four feet of cecum, we head into our large colon. This will be 10 to 12 feet long. And because of its twists and turns, this is where a lot of our impaction colics might happen. After we leave our large colon, we head into our small colon. It is also 10 to 12 feet long. And our small colon, uh, this is where the fecal balls will be forming. And finally, the funnest part of our digestive system is the rectum where the manure comes out and it's expelled on the ground for us all to clean up. So this is our 100 feet long uh, digestive tract. Um, it gives kids a great opportunity to see all of this that fits inside of their horse. So it typically takes 72, 36 to 72 hours for it to pass all the way from the mouth to the rectum. Horses typically can manure four to 12 times a day and urinate four to six times a day. The fun part about this lesson is to have the students be able to wrap the digestive system all the way around the room and recognize how long it is. Understanding the knowledge of the digestive system is vital for any horse owner to keep their horses happy and healthy. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and this is something that you can take home and use with your students at home. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this educational tip from the Certified Horsemanship Association.